Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. It is Derby Day, the Castle Woman take on Chester Lee Street. Now, the last time they played was against Norton and Stockton on Sunday, but due to me being down in Chelsea, I hadn't had a chance to watch them. 1 4 0 in the end. From what I heard, it was pretty comfortable, nothing to worry about. Whereas tonight, now, this is the current lineup. Betty's got pretty much the best team out. Katie Barker, she uh, got a sprain yesterday in training, so she can't play. Hopefully, she'll be back for the Liverpool Feds game. The team itself, though, pretty strong. Shouldn't be any excuses tonight against Chester Lane Street. And the reverse fixture, we won 4 1. Georgia Gibbs has got a hat trick, so fingers crossed again tonight. It'll be a similar scoreline, but anyway, guys, every single women's game this season on the 23's main team, I'll be at them all. So yeah, leads away for the women's on Sunday, and it's stoke away for the under 23s on Monday. So it's still quite a busy time, even though it's going to be a week or so off for the main team. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. There it is. Kick off is about to go on the way on Derby Day. Teams are coming out to change room now. So I, uh, Newcastle won tonight. They go top. We've got a game at hand, Liverpool Fed. So it's just a different mentality putting the pressure on them now so it's quite important we win this derby we should win realistically on paper but never say never uh, corner for Newcastle now big chance to create something from this free header oh there it is what a header that is just like as one new you can't be letting some have a free header but still 15 yards out and she's just hit it top corner so class in the end there just let Andy Castle take the lead on Derby Day. Yeah, Lauren's pushing forward now. Good ball in the box. Oh, keeper has got it, but is it enough? Oh, big chance there. Just over. Castle's second corner of the game could have produced a second goal. Georgia takes it. Oh, the knock. Comes Erin now. Oh, she's taking them both on. Oh, she's past two. Oh, hit the post. That's so unlucky. Bet from distance. Oh, good effort there. Good ball nine. A great touchdown by Lowen Mind. Go for the shot as well. Oh, it's not, it has to be past the line, surely. Oh, the referee says no. Oh, he's given the goal. Great goal by Lowen there. I'm not actually too sure that crossed the line, to be honest. It was way too quick for me. No free kick for Nicasa now. It's a good ball, that's what we can get there. Lowen has, oh! Georgia wins it outside the box. Great pass there to Owen. Oh, that's lucky again. Dominating, just there's no other way of putting it where you're destroying his. Oh, keep us. Barely got away. Here comes Jane. Oh, it's off the line. I think that was correct as well. Great pass by Beth there. Shooting from distance. Oh my days! What a ridiculous goal that is. It's hard to tell me I'm going to have just put it wide, but that is just a, what a strike that is. It's literally just dipped into the top corner. There it is, three no, three class goals to be fair. Newcastle in full control. Georgia taking this corner. Oh, good saving the keeper. Georgia's got it now. Not the best pass, but Sophie's going to win it. Goes for the shot. Oh, just wide. Be a ball to Georgia there. She's got a chance. Oh. This is going to be the final chance of the half, yeah. Georgia's a designated free kick to That's a chance that she'll hit it. Got a huge chance here. She'll be putting on a target with thinking about 22 yards out. Oh. There it is, Newcastle 3, Chester Lee Street nil at half time. Three really good goals to be fair. I feel bad for their goalkeeper. I hadn't had a chance at any of them. Olivia Watts scored the first one, really nice header from a corner. And ever since that, Newcastle just dominated the full game. It's not really been much of a match, to be honest. And that's what you want to see. You want to see these performances because it shows confidence. And even without some of your players playing, the fact that we're 3 0 up and just comfy winning this game and Derby Day is impressive. So, really good to see. Second goal came from. It came from Lowen, and I think it was it was past the line. I watched it back, you can see where the ball drops in the 4G, it is past the line. Third goal came from Erin, I mean, she has no right to even consider shooting from there, so the fact she's just dipped that in the top corner is just incredible. So, 3-0 up the hard time, really comfortable. Second half, just keep it the same. 
don't have to rush into it too much trying to get your players in general. Overall, dominant performance. What else do I see? Newcastle are clearly a better team, hence why we are throwing up in this game. There comes Casey without pace. No pace on it, but it works. Here comes Owen. Oh, Georgia now. Oh, that's actually such a good goal as well, but straight to the goalkeeper. Be a pass by Georgia there. There comes Owen. Oh, what a save that is. Really well hit shot there as well. Chance for Casey. Oh, lucky. Castle a free kick at the halfway line. Good flick on there. Good. Oh, keep us dropped it. Oh. I was lucky there. Keep us spilt it, but we were unable to take advantage of it. It's back in the box. Oh, I think it's off the post there. That's a lucky. She's offside, surely. No, she was onside as well. She just flashed it. Oh, it's a right card for Chesley Street player. I think she got a, a yellow for the foul and um, she Kim! started arguing that for me. Oh, she's Kim! continuing to argue with the referee here. Yeah. I believe she got a yellow for the foul and I'm a red card for arguing. Georgia gives him probably the last chance of the game, yeah. Can we score one this half? Oh, I think that just sums up our half, to be honest, pretty bad. There it is, full time. Castle win 3 0, pretty bad second half, but uh, who cares who won the game? Uh, Derby Day is coming to Newcastle. It felt like more of a Derby in the second half, just a really scrappy game. Uh, you can just tell from the coaches' reactions, they're not happy with that one. And I think I'd right to be, to be honest, a really flat second half, didn't create anything. And listen, uh, the bounce back from this one, it's just one of them ones, really. But I, uh, full time, Newcastle 3, Chester Lee Street 0. There we are, thoughts on that game. Second half, I'll be honest, really bad second half. It was just flat. Every time we got the ball, especially the first 20 minutes, we just kept hoofing it long and just losing it. Uh, it was terrible. Uh, the win's a win. I'm not going to complain too much. I want was preserve a win and not get any players injured and us to go and try and score more goals and some of our key players get injured. But yeah, uh, I think the coaches are not happy with that one. Second half itself, I mean, Chesley Street had a sin bin. Someone got sent off last kick in the game. Uh, we still didn't do anything, really. We've had a couple of chances to score. Keep that. Uh, Kept, them, kept us up being in the second half, but overall, really bad. But anyway, guys, uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Leeds are away with the girls on Sunday, so we play better in that game because, again, Leeds are a good side despite the fact that we've beaten 6 2 a couple weeks ago. The owners aren't there, we've got to turn up, we can't be trying to show off to them, we've got to be doing this week in, week out. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope you can enjoy watching it. Everything away tomorrow, long trip down there, but. I, I'm confident we beat Everton, so see you guys all there. And uh, I, for you know, full time, a win is a win.